In these tough economic times, DJ Brown struggles to keep his shoe repair store open. His shop is located on 1512 Main Street. The store is losing between $400 to $600 a week compared to what was being made before December of 2009. I can definitely say the economy has a lot to do with it. Lenny's shoe repair store has been in Port Jefferson since 1985. Braun, also known as the leather mechanic, worked at the shop for 13 years and last year purchased it. Customers claim they like the service Lenny provides. New pair of shoes would cost a lot more than $16, which is what I paid today. But even with loyal customers, Brown has seen a financial change. Brown said many of his customers worked in the financial district and got laid off. Take the men, for instance. You know, a lot of these guys, they come in like on a weekly basis, just to get their shoes polished. They'll bring like five, six pairs at a time every week and get them done. Those guys, you haven't seen them. Why? Because they're not out there working like they used to be. So the shoes aren't getting messed up. You know, they'll still, they still come in, but instead of seeing them every week, now you're probably seeing them every other month. But Brown's store is not the only one in Port Jefferson struggling to make ends meet. Nine shops have closed down, eight in uptown and one downtown. With the number of stores closing down, merchants hope the town council could do more to help. The board of trustees decided to hold off the meters from November 15 to March 15. Trustee Leslie Snyder shared the story of how it helped one merchant. And interestingly enough, um, a few weeks, about a month after the meters were shut off, I went into his restaurant, had lunch, and he said, you know, I went over the numbers, and I went over the numbers, and I went over the numbers. And my business was up between 30 and 40 percent since you turned off the meters from last year's numbers. The mayor put a hold on a business certificate fee of $150 implemented for the first time this year, although the certificate has been around since 1995. There was quite a few questions um, that, that came up from the, from the business community um, as far as the business certificates. And a, as a result of that, uh, the mayor said, all right, let, let's put a hold on it. Let's see, let's see where we're going. Um, let's reevaluate the whole thing. So we're just going to temporarily stop it. Um, we're not going to collect it anymore, or we're not going to collect it for the time being. Um, let's do some research, and then, and then we'll report back to you and let you know what what the status is. For now, Brown will continue to work alone late hours at his shop, sometimes up to two or three in the morning. He believes hiring someone right now would be a financial strain. One man operation is only so much I can do in only so many hours in a day. This is Christine Vargas for Stony Brook University. Yay, nice. Football, so nice.